Big Z Reviews. Vera is a long-running uh, British uh, mystery t- uh, TV show that recently just finished its 11th season. And I actually like went back and watched all the previous seasons because it's my mom's favorite show. So she kept wanting me to give it a try. And I, I watched all of it. And it is a really charming and interesting show. So, what have we got? I'm DCI Stanhope. I'm leading the investigation. There's something not right here. Now, it's not a question of being clear, love. It's a question of lying. So, the title of Vera is uh, DCI uh, Vera Stanhope, uh, played by Brenda Blevin. And um, she is, you know, the head detective in the Northumberland, which is like the very tippy top of England. But funny, it's like it's always beautiful, like landscapes and like views of the of their of the land there. But it almost looks more like, and the vernacular and everything feels a little bit more like uh, Scotland or something like that. But I think because like they're not like they're they're not close to London at all. You know, they're not like it's it's much further north. But um, like there's like when he first started out, she's definitely kind of caustic. You know, Vera has a really dry wit, but she's also a little bit bitchy. Like she's not a standoffish. But then as you go on and go on, you see her like she has such a charm to her too, and you see that she loves all of the people that she works with, even when she's hard on them if they're doing something wrong or if they. She thinks they're not coming up to their potential. And, like, the whole time, like, she has... Like, through that, through that long a season, they do definitely actors come in and out at times. But generally, like, she has, like, one younger detective that works with her and does all the chasing after the perps. Like, for the, like the first half of the season, it's uh, John Morrison as uh, Kenny. And then the, like, the second half is uh, Kenny uh, Dowtry as Aiden Healy. And they're both really good. They're both very handsome, and they're both like play their roles really well. And then, of course, you have you have you have other uh, police officers, and you have like other um, you have other like crime scene investigators that come in and out too. Like some are out for a season in the back, and they're seen. And some I know it's really sad. The one the first one that's really good, but I think he like had cancer or something. So they he had, he had like kind of write him off in one season. He's just not there anymore. But I guess that's something that happens when you're you're this long running, you know. But the the thing that kind of sucks though is that um, I think like seasons one, two, and five, I believe, are on are on one streaming service, and then the rest of the seasons are on BritBox. So it's like if you want to see all the seasons, you have to buy two separate. Uh, streaming services, which is annoying. Acorn is the one that's um, ep- uh, seasons one, two, and five, I believe. But I guess I don't know if they were distributed differently or like they bought them a long time. I don't know how it works, but it's unfortunate. But like the new ones, or most of the ones, are on BritBox, and but you know, it's just there's it's definitely once you get like each one is like an hour and a half long, and it's just, like one mystery. And then they usually like like each season has like um like three to six episodes I think or something like that usually around four, but like and a lot of times the first one and the last one are the best usually, like they like to end the bang and start out with a bang or something like that, but like I mean they definitely they're the tendency to at times to go a little all over the place like the couple of times they like you have to you know follow a lot of they they like to do red herrings they like to do a lot of different twists and turns and they they like there's some dramatic stuff too like like people the the main characters aren't necessarily safe you know but a lot of times it's a little bit like father brown where where avira usually at the end of the episode confronts the person and then they confess to her that's like probably like murder she wrote too like a lot that's a big trope for so many ones where they all end up confessing they don't like lawyer lawyer me please uh, you know, but that's just, that's a trope of the genre. 
But um, there's just a lot to love about these. I would recommend them. It's definitely when you start, there's, there's a lot of episodes to dig into. And I wouldn't be like, if you're not sure about her at first, I wouldn't give up on it. Because, I mean, she is, she's harsh, but like you grow to love her, you know? Like, she has a very, like, she's like, she's like lives in her, and like, uh, in her alone in this old house. In the Northumberland countryside, and she lives for the cases. She lives to solve these murders, and she does it very well, you know. And and she always has that. She says she looks. She always has this hat and like this raincoat. Like she has a certain look to it that's so kind of like classic sort of look that like is recognizable. As, oh, that's Vera, you know. And it's just it's a lot of enjoyable sh- episodes. Like not all of them are. Are per, are great. Like there are some ones that aren't as good as others, but then you some have some that are absolutely amazing because each one is kind of like a, a movie. You know, each one is like an hour and a half. So some of them are going to be better than others, but as a whole, it's a great show. I probably give it like an eight point seven five or nine out of ten. You know, I would definitely recommend it if you're a fan of you know, mystery and crime drama and all other types of shows. It's definitely something you check out. But thanks for watching. If you want to see more of me, you can subscribe down below. Thanks.